Hello guys, today I want to have a quick review of a new tool from Belgium company Spati called Ray. It is used for more convenient debugging, so instead of setting up xdebug and making your system a bit slower, or instead of doing dd and info and dump in your code and then forgetting that in the production code, Ray comes as a solution which takes kind of a bit from both worlds, and it is formed in a local application on Windows, Mac or Linux, and you would dump all the data that you need into your local application, which will not affect the speed of your application or the source code in production. And disclaimer, it is a paid tool, it's not free, you can see the price here on the screen. And I rarely do reviews of paid tools on this channel, but in this case I'm not an affiliate, I don't get paid for that at all. In fact, it's the other way around. I sponsor Spati on their GitHub sponsors. But in this case, I'm just a happy customer. I've purchased it and used it already. And I was also in a hurry to shoot that review because there are still four days at this point to get the 30% discount. So let's take a look what Ray does. So if you debug your applications the way how I did all the time, you use something like DD or dump or then info post, then it goes to the log of your application to Laravel log. And let's actually show that how it works. So for example, in your application, you want to know the value of post ID by here. And then after the query to the database, you want to know what the model is or actually show that on the screen. And I have that page open. I refresh and here it is on the screen. So ID two, I will zoom it in a bit. It is done on the screen. And if I open Laravel log, Laravel.log and scroll to the bottom, it is here as a model. So this is how I did it before Ray. And Ray, after you install it as a Mac application or Windows application, is just a window in your operating system, which shows everything you need, like this. So let's clear it. And this is how you run anything into Ray. So instead of doing dump post ID, you do Ray post ID, or even you can do post ID like this. By the way, you also need to install Ray package. So in Composer JSON, it's uh, Spotty Laravel Ray. There is a package for PHP in general and for Laravel specifically. So then you can call Ray in whatever place in your code, or then you can do Ray post like this. And then when you load the page, the page loads well. Actually, let's zoom it out. So it doesn't affect the layout at all. But if you open Ray, you have everything you needed. So post ID two, and then the model is also in the log. And also while testing, I left post ID in blade. So you can launch the Ray command in the blade as well, like this. It's a blade directive at Ray, but you can pass whatever text inside of it. So this way you don't compromise your code with DD or dump or something. So on production environment, Ray wouldn't do anything at all. But for debugging, you have everything you need in Ray. Also, there is a specific uh, helper for the model. So instead of doing Ray post, you should do Ray model post. And what is the difference? For example, if you do dump post like this or Ray model, let's take a look. So for the dump, it shows quite a lot of things which we don't need. And let's zoom it in. All you need is attributes usually, right? And when you do that in Ray, let's take a look in Ray it shows exactly what you need. So only attributes by default. So it's easier to read in Ray than in Dump. Although one small drawback, it doesn't really show the relations. And in Dump, we can see the relations here like this. But I guess it's coming to Ray in the future or I will submit an issue on GitHub. And speaking of GitHub, after the purchase of Ray, you get access to the repository where we can post issues, pull requests and discuss how to make the product better. So it's kind of open source, but invitation comes only after the purchase. I guess it's a smart move. Also, there is a color system here on top where you can see colors. You can filter by colors then. Let's clean that log. There is a shortcut common shift K to clear everything for the new launch. And then in the code while doing Ray, you can specify, for example, green color or in this case, for example, red color. I imagine the scenario to use that is when you put something into Ray from one file, it could be green or from other file, it could be red. For example, from the controller dumping is green and from the model somewhere or from the service, it is red. Or maybe you can put something really important with the color so you would see that and filter by that. So let's launch that again, launching the page, zoom out again. So the page loads normally and in the Ray, what do we see? 
we see the same things but with colors now so let's click around the colors and we can enable or disable each color so for example let's enable all of that but let's disable for example red so you can play around with colors and filter what exactly you want to see from which file or which color a few more features Ray is not only for debugging the variables, it can also measure the performance. So you can use Ray instead of or on top of Laravel debug bar, for example, to show queries. You can do Ray show queries. Just launch it in whatever place you want to show the queries. And now let's launch Ray, let's clean it up. And there's also a toggle keep on top. So let's keep it on top. And then we launch the page, refresh. And as you can see, in live mode there are queries appearing so this is the query with exactly the data so this is a parameter but it's visible and how much time it took maybe it's not as convenient as laravel debug bar where you have the list here you have to scroll a bit but still you can see all the queries with their time and you can also copy the query to run in your sql pro or mysql client and not only that you can do ray measure there is a thing called ray measure which takes the current timestamp and logs it into the ray. And if you do ray measure a few times like this, let's delete all the other entries. It would be the same as I've been doing that in the past as timestamp or time start equals time. Or there's micro time, then you have time finish here and then you show the difference. So how much time the actual method took. With ray measure, it looks like this. We will launch the page. And the first time where measure starts, it's starting measuring the performance. And each next time it is called, it's showing the time since last call. So that way you can debug how much time passed since the last call in whatever part of your application, in service for example, or in model or whatever. And the final thing I wanted to show about Ray is how to clean up. So one of the problems I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can accidentally leave DD or dump or info in the code and forget about it. Or then you can perform the cleanup by searching for DD or something like that. And then DD returns other false positives and it's not really convenient. With Ray, there's no magic command to clean it up. But in Ray, you can see a button called list files and it will list all the Ray occasions in the code and if you click any of those you land on a specific place and then you clean it up. Then you clean it up again and then all of those list files, for example in the blade, you land here, you clean it up. So this is all I wanted to say about Ray, but it's pretty limited amount of features that I personally love and will use, but Ray actually does more and you can read about that and also about the reasoning why that tool appeared on a blog of Freck van der Herten's 16 minute read article about Ray and what it does. It also can help you debug mailables. Also it mentions the difference between Ray and Xdebug and more reasoning why Ray appeared. I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but if you are in a position to take that offer, there are still a few days to have 30% off. I think those 18 euros or 25 euros will pay off almost immediately if you work on multiple projects with a lot of debugging. That's it. If you have any more suggestions of what tools I can review on this channel, please shoot in the comments or email me directly pavelas at laravaldaily.com and see you guys in other videos.